Hey, how's it going? So this is part two of the reading I just finished. And uh, you are definitely going to want to watch that one first. So if you found this video first, you can look up here in the cards and go to the first video. If you want to just go ahead and watch this video, I'll have the first one in the end screen and also in the description. So if you want to go and look at that. Okay. I had ended the reading because I figured it was enough information, but I was too excited. <laughs> this was some really good information. And so I'm just very curious. And so um, I wanted to know, we, ha we got this card in the first part, and this was referring to a past life. And so I want to get more information on this past life. And also just... Um, for those who are who are watching this one first, we're working with bird energy, avian energy. And so I have the, the cards of all these different birds and specifically working through crow energy um, for this reading, okay? I'm just gonna tune back in. So one second. All right, so we're going to ask the crow energy. Hmm. I would like to see more. Let's get this deck here. Crow energy, can you please show us more information, please, on what this past life that has come up. Show us more of what this past life that has come up. What is this past life, please? Oh, gosh. Okay, that's too much. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a little much. Let's just start over. Well, we have this one that flew out on itself. And so this is like the lover's card again. So this past life... You have spent time with this person. This is, oh gosh. <laughs> you have been with this person for many lifetimes. The, the recognition that you feel is because you have been with this person all your lifetime. Okay. And in the, in the first reading, you'll see that we have the infinity symbol on three different cards. And so this is definitely a connection that has been a connection forever. Okay. Let's get some more cards. What else do you want to show us, Crow Spirit, please, for this past life? What else can you reveal to us, please? This past life and this love connection. This is... Hmm, the lovers, the magnifying glass, and the park. Yeah, more is going to be revealed. It, it's a public... Um, the park represents a public, like a public announcement of sorts or just in front of people, maybe engagement. I just heard for some of you engagement. And so it will be a public proposal. Um, and we have the magnifying glass. Okay. It was upside down, landing on the lover. So more is going to be revealed, but it's not quite, it's not quite time because it's, it's upside down. So this is kind of in the background. It's kind of waiting, okay, to be revealed. But what is, what is waiting to be revealed? I want to know. Okay, let's get some more cards. Oh, all right. There we go. Hmm. Yeah. 
Oh my gosh. Some of you are totally going to get engaged. Look at this. And that's what it's going to, that's a secret. So <laughs> you have to act surprised. Okay. <laughs> Cause you already know. Um, yeah. See, look, this is, and this was reversed. So it's, it's a secret, but it's going to happen. Like we have the ring. It's a, a ring of promise and it's in reverse. It's coming. It's coming in. It's coming to you. Okay. And so that's so exciting. But yeah, I guess that's what it is, is the, the secret of the engagement. You don't know when it's coming but it's coming. Okay. That's beautiful. What a message for some of you. That that's so wonderful. Okay. Crow spirit. What else can you show us about this past life for those of us who are not like in the place of getting engagement, getting engaged in that kind of thing. Um, but we do see here that it is a love connection that you've had over many lifetimes. What else can you reveal to us, please? The star, yeah. I heard the star-crossed lovers. The star-crossed lovers, and there's actually another reading that I did, but star-crossed lovers mean they can't be together because they're star cross. It's the Romeo and Juliet, you know? Uh, but in another reading, which you don't have to go to for this, the star cross lovers, there was a breakthrough in the karma and now they're able to come, they're actually able to come together. So perhaps in the past life, maybe the more recent past life, there was something that caused, there was a karmic situation that happened that caused these star-crossed lovers to be star-crossed, to not be able to come together. And there was the potential for in this lifetime that you wouldn't be together, but because the karma has been cleared, you are able to be together. There's also, this also could represent, um, those of you who are um, connected to the star seed, um, I, I don't know what to call it, the star seed um, concept or belief system. I'm not sure what to call it, so there it is. So it could be that as well. Okay. Oh. It looks as though, so we have the fox, the whip, and the the man, excuse me. <coughs> um, okay, the fox, the whip, the man. There was some mischief happening. Huh. There was some sort of mischief that was happening in the past life that... I feel like it took the the masculine away. Okay, what is going on here, please, Crow Spirit, with the fox and the whip, please? Mm, the scythe and the compass. Yeah, there was something that happened in the past life that, um, you know... If there may have been of some sort of like imprisonment or something um, that took the masculine energy away in a different direction. And that's where the karma, something happened. There, there was some, I just heard infidelity because of the fox. Perhaps the infidelity caused the, the destruction in the relationship in the past past life and so wow that's why there has been this separation and um
yeah, this separation in this life between the, the lovers. Let's see. What else can we see here? We have the writer and... Oh, yes! A message to the feminine. A message to the feminine. What is that message, please? What is that message, please? The crows just came to my balcony. My desk faces the window. So they were here for a second. <laughs> um, okay, there we go. The message to the feminine. Oh, luck of the draw is what I heard. Let's see, what else can this mean? Next step. I, I don't know how that relates to the dice, but next step is also what I just heard. Um, I kind of want to add these up. Five, six, seven, eight. Twenty-one. I don't know. I added all these numbers up. Twenty-one, if that means anything to you all. Uh, and then the card is number thirty-nine. The message to I I need more information, Crow. Please, what is the message that's coming in to the feminine from the masculine? It was the luck of the draw that what happened in the past life whether it was some sort of infidelity mischief or some sort of, you know, being enslaved or imprisoned of some sort, it was the luck of the draw. Okay, what else? Oh, but you have the key to my heart. You will always hold the key to my heart. You are my love. You are my love. Oh, wonderful. And we have the eight here. It's the infinity symbol, um, which, again, was in the last reading. This is a forever love, a forever connection, a forever you will be together. You've cleared the karma. He has the eight here. Um, the two aces. That is so beautiful. Okay. Crow energy. Let's get some more. Let's get some more cards. What else can you show us about this past life and this love? What else would you like to reveal to us? What can we know more of this situation? It's kind of a lot, but we'll just go with it. We have Ace of Cups. The Chariot, Ooh, Seven of Cups, and Page of Wands. Okay, let me look at it for a second. <sighs> well, the love is strong. It's coming in. Like, it, you've been given um, a, fresh, a fresh approach. You've been given the opportunity to... To come together okay and and he's coming in but there's some sort of hmm. oh it seems as though the feminine energy has had her head in the clouds wondering confused not sure what is going on in the connection why are certain things happening the way they are why why is this being felt but there's some resistance to it in whatever way that means for each individual and so there's been this cloud of confusion and it, it's hurt it, it's been hurting because it's the cups energy it's the emotions the heart it's the feminine energy knows something she knows that this is significant, but has been having difficulty understanding why is this so significant and why are there so many blockages and how do we get through this? And some have may even been thinking, maybe this is all in my head. Maybe I'm thinking too much about this. Maybe it, I'm creating my own story, my own fantasy here. 
because of what I feel in my heart. But no, this is this is not fantasy. This is not illusion as it may feel and seem. It's actually the magic of the fire energy and the flame being reignited. And you've been kindling that with keeping your heart in your knowing and not, even though it's been a struggle and confusion and maybe guilt for some of you, um, you've been kindling it because you've also been trusting your knowing, trusting what you've been feeling. And so because you've been kindling that flame, it's allowed for the fresh approach and the, the new wave of healing and a new wave of, of fresh, clean emotion coming in because it is true. It is, it is coming in the love. Okay, let's see. What else can we get? What else? Um, let's get some more of these, I guess. Okay, crow energy, please. What else do you have to say? Okay, actually, I'm going to get this deck here. This is my ancestor deck because this is in regard to a past life as well. So we have the past life and we have it's intermingling with the the present, um, if I didn't make that clear. Okay, so um, I feel like I, I have an urge to use this deck here, which is ancestor energy. Um, and since we have the past life, perhaps... We can connect to the ancestors and see what else can be said. So Crow Energy, please show us, reveal to us any information that the ancestors might be wanting to reveal. That you're wanting to communicate in this connection of the heart and soul. This love that has been here for so many lifetimes. Queen of Cups. Okay. I'm going to need more than that, please. Oh, okay. Queen of Cups. We have the Emperor. <clears throat> Pardon me. And the Queen of Wands. The Six of Swords and Knight of Pentacles. Let me look at it and get what's being said. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, look, see, I see this immediately and it's the, oh my gosh. Okay. I heard, okay. I don't know if this is appropriate. Okay. I heard the word Gestapo. Okay. I don't know if that is inappropriate. So please don't take offense if it's not. I don't know what that means. I think it was the, um, Wow. Uh, I think it has something to do with like the Holocaust, doesn't it? Because I, I'm so sorry that I don't know, but it, it has to do with the, the authority. Okay. And then we have the star. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know if the, the Star of David is, looks like this, but this could be in regard to the past life. And perhaps it was individuals that were involved in the Holocaust. Okay. And that was probably could have been part of this separation and like I said like the imprisonment or enslavement um there was pain there was a lot of pain 
okay? And that's what could have separated you in the past, the two of you in this life, okay? And one of you was kind of, was left. The other, because of, wow, this is very interesting. It's actually very deep. Um, because it's a feminine on the card, but it doesn't necessarily have to be the feminine energy, but one of you was left behind because of what was going on here in the uh, in the past life in the enslavement um and so we have queen of cups and queen of wands and the emperor see this this is connecting to the part so that what i just said was because there was two messages here, one for that could have been in sort of a separation because of enslavement. And, and like imprisonment. And then there was the other with hmm, the Fox energy and being um, in infidelity. There's two. Two feminine energies. Oh. The emperor. The, the masculine energy took on two feminine energies. I heard a concubine. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. This is all very, very interesting. So the queen... And then the other queen. It looks like there was two um, two entities coming together. So meaning two countries, two lands coming together. And so the emperor took on a second wife. And it didn't please this one very well at all was not very thrilled about that. But this one was like, all right, <laughs> I will, I do. <laughs> okay, all right, so there's that information. I think we probably should be done here. Um, I'm curious, what do you think? Um, let me know. All right, until next time.